Okay, let's roll those arms back nice and big and take them the other way. And reach it up and down. Front and back, loosen up those shoulders and take it to our squat with a big reach. Reach and squat. We're gonna move it into reverse lunge. more. Now we're going to take it into side to side squat. Squat it right and left. Down nice and low. Change the squat into a lateral lunge. One leg goes straighter. Other hand reaches down. One more, and cross back lunge. Glad you guys are all here this morning. We're gonna do our first set of exercises. We will do for a minute each. We'll repeat them three times. Our second set of exercises we'll do for 45 seconds. Repeat them three times. And our last set we'll do just for 30 seconds. Repeat them three times. All right, we're going into our balance move. Right hand is going to reach toward the left foot. Bring it up, left hand toward right foot. Pull those abs in. Take your time, especially on the way up. Good. Looking good. Engaging your core and your brain this morning. Now we're going to reach for those heels. And take those knees to the side. It's a little side crunch right here. Bring your knees to the front. Add that full rotation. Rotate and rotate. Good, you're doing awesome. Looks so good. I'm gonna spotlight my video for you. I forgot to do that. There we go. Two more. And take it to the back of your mat. Let's do that inchworm at your dragonfly stretch. When you do your dragonfly stretch, push that back heel down and back. Lift your knee so that you get a good stretch in that calf. It'll also help you keep your core tight. So push your heel down and back. Lift the knee as you stretch. Walk it in. Two more dragonfly stretches. Or two more inchworms, actually. Woo! After you finish your inchworms, take it to jump rope. Okay, we're going to take those arms backwards and take our feet side to side on our jump rope. It's a Monday morning, starting our week off right. Woo, way to go. And move it into speed skaters, right and left, reach and reach. And take it overhead, let's go. See if you can reach that hand toward the back heel. And front back run. Run it front to the ground. Run it back. Touch the ground. Go. Woo. Don't run across the mat. 
and trip on your mat like I did. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Woo! All right, inhale, exhale. Might want to grab a sip of water. We're going to start our first set. We're going to have 15 seconds rest in between our exercises. So I will prep you for the second exercise when we finish the first. The first one is just lateral lunge, upright row with your weight. It's going to be one minute, so it's pretty long. So if you need to, you can always alternate your arms. All right, we're starting in five. Get those weights. There we go. So lateral lunge, butt to the back, strong upright row. Right here, good. Remember your options. You can always do a single arm pull if you need it. Think about engaging the core as you start to lift. Shoulders stay dropped. Awesome. Almost there. One more. Okay, hold on to your weight. We're going to do that same exact inchworm with the dragonfly stretch, but we're going to use our weight. And we're going to keep that back knee lifted, starting in five seconds. All right, here we go. So take it down, walk it out, hit your push up, leg out, lift the back knee, open up, other side, strong plank with that back leg, push the heel down and back. Walk it back in. Go in again. You can get a good low push up right in between those weights. This exercise has chest. Core, back. Finish up the one you're doing, then we're going to take it to our back. All right, on your back, put those weights up to begin with. We're going to do an alternating chest press with a bicycle. So start with your bicycle as soon as you get there. Okay, timer's going now. So we're gonna alternate an arm pull. Just like a chest press, palms face your feet, and you pull one arm and then the other. One arm and then the other. Alternating your arm pull. I know, lots of coordination, right? Make sure one arm is always moving. Like, pass them in the middle, don't wait for it. Now, you need to be intentional with your abs, pull them in. Back is in neutral spine, don't let it arch. If it gets to be too much on your back, just put those legs on an imaginary chair and do the same thing, but make sure you've got your abs in tight. You got 15 seconds. Whew, you're doing great. Almost there. We'll be standing it up next. Okay, last one. See if you can just hold on to those weights and stand it up. We're gonna do a dumbbell swing. So one weight or two, Russian style to start, so just about shoulder height. Hopefully you got those hips getting warm from all the inchworms. Driving from the hips. Keep your shoulders dropped. Feel a strong, powerful drive from your backside. Back 
to protect your lower back. Great. Woo. This move a lot because not only does it drive our heart rate, but it works our glutes, our thighs, our hamstrings, our lower back, lots of core. Done with it. Last one. Okay, we're repeating that round, but we only have 15 seconds to rest, just like we did. So if you need a sip of water anytime, grab it. We're starting back with lateral lunge and rows. Ready, go. Lateral lunge, rows. So we have three rounds of this. This is round two. Push that butt nice and far to the back. Fifteen seconds, finish strong. One more. And inchworm. All right, take a breather, short break. We'll go to inchworm, dragonfly stretch. With our weights. Ready and go. Go ahead and engage the core, even as you just take that front fold, that forward fold, and then tighten it back up as you do your walk out and in. Doing great. Keep it going. Be intentional with these moves. Last one, we're gonna take it to our back. Alternating chest press and bicycle. When you get there, go ahead and start your bicycle legs. Just hold the arms up. Ready and go, add the arms. Tighten up those abs even more. You got it. Woo. Thirty seconds ago, you're doing awesome. Woo! Oh, so good. Woo! Last one, we gotta stand it up. See if you can stand up without using your hands. Bring it all the way up. And then we have swings again. One weight or two. This time we're gonna go American style. Up and over, ready, go. Right here. Same kind of drive with the back side. You're just letting those arms float up.
Great. Strong drive. Love it. Everybody's form looks so good. Twenty seconds to go. One more. Okay, we have a fifteen second rest and we start over one more time with lateral lunge and rows. Grab your weights, we're starting in five. Ready, here it is. Last time through. Woo. Okay, we're gonna stay on one side. Hold strong, one arm, one side, go. One side. Go. Okay, alternate on both arms again. Go. Got ten seconds. Last one. Woo! Okay, we're inchworming, but we're taking out the dragonfly. We're keeping the rotation, but we're not gonna put the, we're gonna keep our body in a plank. We have eight seconds to rest. So we're just gonna do that, like T push up where you open up. Ready, drop it down, inchworm it out, just like regular, hit your push up, and then just take your rotation and walk it back up. Woo, going, yep. So all we did was take out that addition of that leg by the hand and we kept our core really tight when we rotate, Woo. you may feel a bigger stretch as you're able to rotate a little further. We have 10 seconds to go and we'll take it to our back next. Last one, Woo. all right, take it to your back. Legs up, start that bicycle. We're not changing anything on this one. So same thing, go, start your pulls. Woo. Remember that back, neutral spine. Maybe you need to tuck your hips a little bit. Looking good, looking good. 30 seconds to go. That's not so encouraging. <laughs> Woo! These alternating ones are always a little more challenging for me. Then the doubles. Woo! Last one. Stand it up without using your hands. Okay, we have swing. We're gonna take it over the shoulder. Put those weights together. Drop your shoulder. So American style over the shoulder. Go. Same kind of driver, it's still from the hip, act, the action at the hips right there, good. Ah, so strong, Woo, looks good.
20 seconds, finish strong. Last talk with this exercise. Done. Woo! Nice job. Great time to grab a sip of water. Woo! In the next round, we'll be doing 45 second sets. We're going to start with our weights with a pumping hammer curl. Pumping hammer curl. Then we're going to move into one weight, reverse lunge, figure eight. Then we'll go to sumo, bicep curl, two weights. Then we're going to go to single arm, same arm swing. So that's our four. I just wanted to show them to you. You'll still have time for me to talk you through them, but we will only have 10 seconds of rest instead of 15 but shorter sets, 45 seconds work. Okay, so grab your weights, both weights, for lunge with hammer curl, both weights. With your weights, you're right here, go, go. With weights, let's go. We'll change legs halfway through. Good. All right, change legs and keep going. Go. Woo! You're doing great. 10 seconds. I know, these get challenging. Woo! Last one, one weight down. Reverse lunge. Ready? Go. Right here. You got it. Big circle right here. Good. Woo! Nice job. Woo! Ten seconds. We got it. A little lower with the lunges. Last one. Two weights. Sumo. Bicep curl. All right. Hang those arms. Down and up. Legs and arms. But keep your elbows glued to your side. Good. You look great. Woo! One weight down. Single arm swing. So if you have a heavier weight, go for that. We're going to stay on the same arm. Change halfway through. Ready? Go. Right here. Same kind of drive from the hips. Looks good. Switch hands. Go. Shoulders relax. Body forward, even though you're doing single arm. One more. 
All right, down with that set. Grab your other weight, though. It's not a long rest. Lunge and hammer curl. Ready? Here we go. Woo! Good, looks good. Now change legs, keep going. You got it. Woo! Oh, so good. Five seconds, one weight down. Okay, I'm gonna take my this to be a front lunge with a figure eight. If you have bad knees, stay with reverse. Ready? So I'm going front lunge, front lunge, taking outside, bringing it up. You may feel like your figure eight slows down a little bit. It probably does, because this is a slower move. That's okay, just make your figure eight big. You can make it bigger. Drive it by that hip. If it bothers your knees, go back to reverse lunge. Woo! Looking good, looking good. Last one. Two weights. Same and curl. Here we go. Elbows down. Woo. So good. One, one weight. Okay, this time we're gonna keep our feet narrow. If it bothers your back, go to regular, but single arm swing right here, go. Outside of the body. Now, still drive from the hips, pop it. Keep your body facing front. You got it. Woo! Arms. Keep that body face in front. Nice. Back with the hips. Strong. Strong drive. Five seconds. One more. Ah. All right. We're going lunge and hammer curl. One more time. Ready? Here you go. Go. Okay, switch legs. Go. You got it. Woo! Y'all, I made it all three sets with remembering when to tell us to switch legs at the right time. That's so impressive. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself this morning. <laughs> Woo! It's the little things. Last one. Oh, one weight. Now, we're going to do that figure eight in a squat. <gasps> There's Camilla's mom. Woo! Okay, go. Right here. Now, if this bothers your knees, go to the lunges again. You're doing great. Woo! 
so good. Awesome job sitting back. So much core happening along with your glutes, thighs. Seconds. Awesome. Last one. Oh, nice. Okay, grab your other weight. Sumo bicep curl. Finishing off those biceps right here. Let's go. Woo! Now we're gonna hold in that down position and just curl. Just your arms, just your arms. Good, abs are in, nice. You guys, look at your arms, they're so strong. Now legs and arms, go. Okay, stay in the up. Now bicep curl, arms only in the up position. Pull the abs in, drop the shoulders, finish here. One more, woo, one weight down. We're doing a single arm swing. We're just gonna switch arms this time. Right here, go. Here where you, what high you stop at on your arms. Just do whatever feels natural to you. Five seconds, almost there. Ooh, nice, put it down. This is your time to grab a drink. All right, we have one more step. Three rounds in our last set, but it's only 30 seconds. Everything is gonna be 30 seconds. So we will start with tricep kickback right here. Then we're gonna hold on to our weight and do little jump squats. If you need to put your weights down, go for it. So it's 30 seconds, five seconds rest. Then you're gonna take it to the ground for those tricep press up and your cobra upward dog is lifting up from the ground to here with your elbows squeezing back. Then your fourth one in this set, and take that one weight, single knee. So your knee, your legs are here, and you're gonna pass under. And we'll stay on the same leg for the whole 30 in the first round. All right, so 30 seconds, five seconds to rest, so it's not long. Just enough time to move to the next one. Tricep kickback, go ahead and grab your weight. Grab your weight, tricep kick back. Hands forward and go. Good. Well, you know our form on these, we like to have our elbows higher than the back. We like to have our, we're either looking down or to the side, not straight in front. Nice, good job on those arms. It's a controlled swing. Five seconds. Hold on to your weight, stand it up. We're doing a little jump squats. They're not big on the jump because you have your weight. They're bigger on the squat, go. If your back bothers you, just put those weights down. And you can always go up on the toes and down if the jump doesn't work for your body. We don't want a high impact because we have weight. So that's why we don't go very far off the ground, kind of just point the toes, but we go into a low squat. Last one, tricep press up, take it to the ground. 
Quick, quick. Ready, go. Elbows to the back. One more. Woo! Okay, put your right knee in front. Grab one weight. Pass from the inside of your leg to the outside and take it overhead. Go. Good. So you can lean forward, but try not to lean to the side. One more. Stand it up, tricep kick back, quick. Ready, and go. Good. You look awesome. Woo! Nice. I love it. Upper arm stay steady. Lower arm moves. Woo! 10 seconds. Then we go to those weighted jump squats. Last one. Oh, stand it up. Ready? Weighted jump squats. Go. Nice. Remember, it's all about the bend at the knees, taking the squat, landing soft, sitting back. 10 seconds, woo! Oh, I'm feeling it, how about you? We take it to the mat next, tricep press ups, go. Just get there and start. Take five seconds for sure, just to get some, get into position, woo! One more, Woo. left knee in front, one weight, go from inside to outside again, ready, go. Good. When we do this in our third round, we're gonna switch legs halfway through, and we're gonna go outside to inside. Woo, it's gonna be a brain challenge, right? You're doing great. Lots of core. How about some shoulders as well? <laughs> Woo! Strong arms. Last one. Stand it up. Two weights. Tricep kick back. Last time. Lean it forward. Go. Add a rotation up this time. When you press back, turn those palms up. Woo! Keep your shoulders down and back away from your ears. It's about the back of the arms, not the shoulders. Even though they assist. But we want the primary driver to be those arms. Woo, stand it up. Uh, jump squats. Ready, go. Woo. Doing great. Nice job. 10 seconds to finish. Come on. Then you'll go to your mat or tricep press up. One more. Woo! Waist down. Tricep press up. Ready? Go.
Last one. Right, right knee in front. Take your weight outside the right leg. Go. Outside the inside this time. Keep that body straight. One more. Change legs. Outside to inside. Go. Woo. One more. Done. Y'all, we're in perfect position to stretch, so stay there. Reach the opposite arm. See, you got your left leg in front. Reach your right arm up and over. That was so good. Now take that left leg a little further front and reach across. Turn it to the side, maybe. Makes more sense. We're gonna keep that back knee down and do that dragonfly stretch. Open up. This time it's just a stretch. All right, switch it out. Let's put that other right knee in front. Left arm up, take it over. And take that front reach, opposite corner of your mat or past your knee. Take that hand down, open up. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go to my back. So however you can easily get there, roll all the way back. Pull those thighs into your chest. Do a slight rock right and left to release tension in the back. Then let go of that left leg and pull the right thigh in, stretching the hamstrings. Best to grab at the thigh, not at the knee or calf. Pull it in as close as you can. Now take the right ankle above the left knee. Grab the left thigh, pull it in, hold right there. Keep your legs pressed just like they are. Take the right foot on the opposite side, put it flat on the floor and look the other direction so your legs are still crossed. Now bring them the other way. Stretch in the back. Look over your opposite shoulder. If this is too much for the back, just uncross the legs. Back to the center. Switch legs. Stretch that left leg all the way up. Pull it in nice and close. Feeling the stretch in the back of that left thigh. Now take the left ankle over the right knee, grab the right side, pull in. Oh yeah, I can feel that stretch. Ideally, you wanna hold all your stretches at least 30 seconds. So a few times a week for sure. Okay, take that top foot over and look the other way. So hopefully you can join for yoga at least once this week. Once or twice. All right, bring it all the way over. Look the other direction. Gentle pull right here. Back to the center. Grab your thighs, pull, and again, walk a few. We'll try to come up to our feet without using our hands. Whatever that looks like. So come all the way up. Nice. 
And then when you get there, we're going to do the open and close stretch. Good. Now bring it all the way up with the big inhale. Exhale down to your toes. Look right between those legs. Bring it all the way up. Big inhale. And exhale. Way to go. Woo, nice job.